Hello, welcome to the Nutrition Doctor is in the Kitchen, on location here at the Boston Local Food Festival, this gorgeous day in October in Boston. I'm PK Newby, and for the next several minutes, I'm going to be showing you how to make homemade salad dressing. Better for you, better for the planet, so let's get cooking. Pear, walnuts, blue cheese, arugula, walnut vinaigrette. In this one, I'm going to use a little bit of canola oil, use a touch of olive oil, just for a little bit more flavor. Now I'm doing it the opposite way. If you saw me make the first vinaigrette, it really doesn't matter all that much. Now I'm going to use the, the oil first, again with our garlic. Again, easiest way to deal with garlic, take the back of your knife, give it a slap, comes right out. Don't sit there and try to like be peeling garlic, that's very difficult. Or we forget a little bit of, a little pinch of salt, a little black pepper. Now, walnuts I have around here. Yes, toasted walnuts. Whenever you're dealing with nuts, you gotta toast them. It's really worth the effort. It, the flavors really don't come out as much. Certain nuts, sure, you're your dad's, you have peanuts, you're, whatever you're doing, you're having as a snack. But for salads, toasting is well worth the effort. Watch them carefully, they burn very fast because there are oils in there. So we're gonna put some walnuts on top, but also I'm gonna chop some up and put them into our vinaigrette. Obviously now what do we need? We need the vinegar. So you could do anything here. You could use a white balsamic, you could use a white wine vinegar, you could use a champagne vinegar. Think beyond balsamic, okay? There's lots of vinegars out there. Because we used cider vinegar in our previous vinaigrette, which was that maple Dijon, just for the fun of it, I'm gonna use white wine vinegar. Either one would be great. As you're adding, you wanna Give it a whisk so it emulsifies. Oh, yeah, that's coming together beautifully. All right, it's looking pretty good. You can give it a little taste. Ooh, very acidic. It needs more oil. I do like it with a little bit of tartness, but that was a little much. I was saying earlier, tasting. In order to be a good cook, you've got to taste. All right, I have to try again. Oh yeah, much better. Beautiful red Bartlett pear, of course, from the farmer's market. When you use fruit and salad, you need to make sure they're ripe, obviously. I washed this before I came here this morning. So we're just gonna slice these pears right on top. Okay, so this is a local goat cheese from a Massachusetts farm. And it's a very, it's a different one because it's actually a goat blue. So I tried it the other day at my farmer's market and so if you're not into onions, that's fine. I put onions on everything. And I like all ends of the, of the scallion. There's no reason not to use it all. But I think it really does actually add. All right. Okay. Arugula, pears, goat's blue, scallion, and a walnut vinaigrette that we made. Give this one more taste because it's been sitting with the walnuts and I'm gonna see if I need to adjust it again. It really needs a little bit of a sweetener. Um, this is gonna be good with a little bit of maple in it as well. I didn't say you didn't need to use any sugar or salt. I simply said if you make it yourself, then there's a lot less of it. So, plus, you know, it's fall in New England. Maple syrup, that's what people do, right? Okay, one more taste. 
Oh, yes. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. That's a lot better. We're going to drizzle this over our salad. And again, for those of you that didn't hear, hear me say before, salads, don't, don't diss the vinaigrette. You need the vinaigrette. Heart-healthy oils helps your body to take up all the fabulous vitamins in your, in your salad. Go for it. I think it's ready to taste this, right? Yeah. 